This episode is brought to you by Heretic Studio LED Lights. You guys, if you've been watching for a while, you know that I love these lights. I've been partnering with Heretic for a long time, and it's because I need tough stuff. You know, I break things. All the lights I ran before Heretic were constantly filling up with water, or the lenses were breaking, or they're falling apart, or they're glitching out. Heretic just doesn't seem to have any of those issues. Of course, these lights are made in the United States using the highest quality chips and lenses. It's nothing like the cheap eBay lights. I got some feedback recently where people were complaining about the cost, and it's, it's like going to Rigid or Baja Designs or KC and saying, hey, I wish your lights were the same cost as these Chinesium ones over here. They're just not the same product. Uh, these are professional race quality products and my philosophy is buy once, cry once. After breaking multiple of the cheaper brand lights and having to constantly replace them or not be able to rely on them, I've more recently turned to getting Heretic lights which are very high quality but still a reasonable price. Today, you can save 10% by using my code MAX10. Click the link in the description below. Hit that thumbs up button, please. Because, yeah, man, it helps. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I just got back from uh, doing a little dump run. Come here. <clears throat> Struggling. It smells like trash. <sighs> I just got back from doing a dump run in the dump truck. And unfortunately, it died on me, I had to be towed home. It was pretty uh, pretty disappointing to be honest. Oh shoot, what is this packaging? <clears throat> My radiator is unboxing itself. So in case you missed it, I just got back from King of the Hammers where I made a rookie mistake. Basically my drive line broke, it got all bound up. This dude tried to pull me out and I let him throw the loop over the ball. You never want to do that. Well, anyways, it snapped the ball right off. It fired into my truck. The ball bounced around between the grill and the radiator and punctured a hole. We had to fill the radiator up with all sorts of stuff, including a, um, a raw egg and a few tubes of stop leak. Anyways, I bought a new radiator. It's not nearly as fancy as the one I have, but it should allow me to go wheeling with uh, dirt lifestyle tomorrow. So I'm not really gonna bore you guys with the specifics of installing a radiator on a 2000, well, it's not even 2003, it's a 1998 Toyota Tacoma, um, but uh, we'll, we'll install it and hopefully everything goes to plan and tomorrow we can go snow wheeling. Too bad. So here's where we put the, uh, the JB weld right here. But it kept leaking out of the backside. You can see it's indented there. So she got hit pretty hard. Well, we have a problem. Um, that radiator is definitely smaller. But the mounting tabs are where they need to be. It's custom made, so yeah. Uh, but the reason why they did a custom made one was because the radiator runs right into their leaf spring perches. And uh, that's going to get crushed. And on top of that, this hose doesn't fit down there. The smaller version, um, the inlet and outlet are on the wrong sides. So... Well, positive thing, really cool to know that I can run power tools like an angle grinder or cut off saw uh, with the Toter Homes generator, the old hardy moose knuckle. Downside is though that I had to cut these little capture perches off of the uh, leaf springs so that they don't collide 
with the radiator and I'll probably still have to cut some of the radiators plastic away there to make it work but at least we can go wheeling tomorrow and that's what it's all about we are uh, traveling to Nate's place and taking all the back roads uh, in the toter home I woke up today around 5 30 and packed up and hit the road there's a few things I need to do when we get to Nate's I need to air up the tires of the crawler um, unfortunately we're not gonna be towing to the trailhead I'm gonna be towing to Nate's house and then offloading the crawler airing up the tires and driving it about 40 minutes on the highway um, I don't know I might see if I can just stay in the toter home and tow I like the toter home you know and I don't really trust my crawler on the road that much if it breaks while we're snow wheeling it's kind of nice just to have the toter or if anybody breaks you know if anybody breaks it's kind of nice to just have the toter home so when we get to Nate's house we'll uh, we'll make those arguments and see if he agrees we got ourselves a little group here we're gonna go meet at a gas station somewhere meet some more folks the air conditioner even the air just the fan won't turn on the last time I drove this truck it was on its side uh, in California we basically tipped it back drove it to the trailhead and and here we are so hopefully nothing goes terribly wrong today old max boy has got you all right we're rolling out truck doesn't seem happy and I went to shift down and then uh, it was just running weird. It was just like, mom, 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 mom. And I put it back in the third and it just wasn't happy. It wasn't, I was like going slower and slower. I don't know. I have no lights on my dash at all. Will that start right now? I th I'm, sure, I'm sure it'll start, yeah. Let we'll start it. Fire it up and see. Ah, the battery's not yeah, charging. Yeah, no. It was just it was slowly dying and then it got low enough that it, probably mess with the sensors and stuff. I literally just told uh, Nate last night, he was like, we need to check out the wiring in that truck. And I was like, the whole truck needs to be rewired, to be honest. There's not something severed. We are getting a signal, so it's probably just coincidence. The alternator went bad. A bad alternator. Yeah. Dude, can't catch a break. If I go with that plan, go to O'Reilly's and grab one. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring, I'll take it right now, bud. All right, Nate and I are gonna run to O'Reilly's and uh, see if we can get a spare alternator. Luckily, this happened, we're only a couple miles from the auto parts store. So, almost an hour later, we have a new alternator in the truck. On our way, we uh, rescued a Ford Mustang. So you'll see a lot of that on Nate's video. I just want to go snow wheeling. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't even gonna film the whole journey to, to the trailhead. I didn't. I didn't anticipate anything going wrong. You know, it's a Toyota. You know. All right, we kicked her off. New, fancy new alternator. Not charging. Not charging. What would cause a whole row of fuses to go dead? Well, I found one blown fuse. It didn't even look blown. It just kind of looked a little funky. We fixed everything on the dash, at least. We got tack, we got fans. Well, we, uh, we gave up on our day a little bit, unfortunately. Well, sorry, we gave up on my truck. Nate, looks like I'll be tagging along with you. Well, I don't know how much of a video I'll end up making, but I can help you film. That would be nice. I'll just make a video titled This is how to help Nate film videos. My, my automotive <laughs> life sucks. 
Unfortunately, I tried to bring my 1998 Toyota Tacoma out here today. We spent a lot of yesterday changing out the radiator on it, and I did a lot of modifications to my leaf springs, actually, to try to make it work. Now, if, if I had known I wasn't gonna wheel today, I probably wouldn't have done that. I probably would have returned that radiator and found one that probably fit a little bit better, but here we are. On the way here, my truck lost power, and I pulled over. We discovered that my alternator wasn't charging, so we quickly ran to O'Reilly's, bought a new alternator, threw it in there. It's still not charging. We found a blown fuse, replaced that, still not charging, so we ended up leaving it. So I'm out here with um, Dirt Lifestyle, Muddy Beards, uh, Trevor Knopp, and uh, another fella from uh, Muddy Beards. So it's a, it's a really good time, but I'm not wheeling myself, which is kind of unfortunate, but I want to show you guys a super cool FJ Cruiser that's uh, joined us. Trevor's FJ Cruiser's super Cool. Oh shit, they're coming down. Oh, they're right there. Yeah, it's like they're in the first lap. Looks like they're pulling in for us. Oh, look at that. He's gonna go up and fuck the water. They had a tire in the air pretty good there. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Came off the ground right here like a foot. And the boy's proud! the alternator to kick on you can hear it actuating you can hear it turning on but it sounds real gravelly and now uh, I just did a little highway stretch there and you could um, you could definitely hear the alternators just grinding so I think that I think that O'Reilly's gave me a crap alternator there's still a lot of electrical gremlins and just just odd things around this truck um, it's really not ready to be wheeled and it's just not really reliable yet uh, which is why I really wanted to, to trailer it to the trailhead, but it's the only thing I have right now And I really I, I really want to to make content for you guys It's not supposed to come off the trailer that way Damn it God I'm an idiot so, about that tundra. I can't believe I did this. <laughs> 